Well, today I'd like to talk about our pantry, both our short-term and our long-term pantry, but what do you keep on hand for meats or for protein? Well, this is not really a discussion for most vegans because I'm going to go heavily into meats, but I think it's important to keep on our pantry shelf. Now, I do can a lot of meats. I mean, I even have my own pork patties here for breakfast, salmon, which if you're interested, it cans up so easy. I have uh, a little playlist on how to can it, and then some great recipes using canned salmon, which of course you can use regular store-bought canned salmon too. And I even can my own bacon because much cheaper than buying Yoder's bacon. But I don't just rely on my canned meat. Can you be a prepper without this? Spam, right? Now it comes in a variety of flavors and uh, it's very economical. I bought this some time ago. It's good until July 20th. And many people say it still is fine way after the expiration date. Um, it's more of a sell-by date. The thing is that the longer on the shelf, um, after three to five years, it can start losing nutrition. But it won't kill you if you eat it. And then canned ham, the DAC ham, and this is the Bristol cooked ham. Again, a great thing to keep on your shelves, um, make a quick sandwich, or to use in a casserole or recipe. But something I wasn't aware of until I watched, uh, is it Cooking Preparedness 101? I believe that's his channel now. He originally was the Angry Prepper and he keeps changing his channel name. Um, if I said it wrong, I'll try to put the right name up here. But he talked about the Keystone meats and I thought, hmm, what are those? So I went and you can get them at Walmart or your local uh, shopping mart and uh, here is ground beef. And I really haven't seen ground beef uh, in many other brands available for being canned. The neat thing about this is it only has two ingredients. And it's about five years shelf stable. It only has ground beef and sea salt. Well, that sounds darn good. And this is 28 ounces and I believe it was $6.79 at my local shopping um, mart. You might get it cheaper. But I bought quite a few cans of this. I really don't um, enjoy ground beef canning it. I have done it, but to me it gets pretty tasteless. Um, and so why go through all the effort when I can buy it just like this? And my understanding is this can be great for tacos and other things. So. I have a lot of cans of this that I'm keeping on hand. Now, this Keystone meat uh, is also available in shredded chicken and in pork. So, again, because it has no preservatives other than the sea salt, I think this is great. And all of these meats are shelf stable for five years. It's pretty good value. You can also get canned ground beef from Lehman's. Um, the same amount, 28 ounce though, is almost twice the price of Keystone, and that is $12.99. And if you're concerned about your canned meat and how it's grown, which I forgot to say, but Keystone is USA produced, um, there's something called the Wurtz Family Farms, and they have farm raised without antibiotics or hormones, completely drug free beef and pork and they are GMO free with a shelf life of over 25 years. So you might want to check out Wirtz Farm. You can also get this great value roast beef. I think this is 12 ounces. It's available for just under $3. But, uh, and it's, let's see, I bought it today and it's going to expire April of 2022. So about three years shelf life. So it's not as good as the Keystone and it has a lot more ingredients. Let's see here. It has beef, beef broth, salt, modified food starch, sodium phosphate, and caramel color. So 
I would go with the Keystone instead if you have it available. Now, something my family loves is pulled pork. And I do can pulled pork and I think it tastes almost as good as fresh. But you can also buy it. Here is the Great Value pulled pork. And again, I think it's 12 ounces. And April 2022, so about a three year shelf life. Again, a great thing to keep on hand. And today when I bought it, it was $3.28. Now you can get the shredded chicken breast from Keystone, um, your local shopping market, or Sam's Club or Costco. In this case, this is Members Mark, so this is Sam's Club. And I got six of them some time ago. And they have a three year or longer shelf life. Um, I'm not sure what the individual price of the cans, I can't remember when I bought it, but they come in a package of six or eight. So again, great thing to keep on hand, just in case. Well, you can buy ham like this, but you can also get chunked ham like this. This is smoked ham, Hormel, and it is five ounces. I think it was a dollar and 38 cents. Great thing to keep on hand, to put on crackers, make a spread, or even to use in recipes. And if you go on Hormel's site, even though this has an expiration date, they say that their canned meats um, do not really expire, so to speak. It's just that after being um, five years, or, on sh or three to five years, I should say, on the shelf, they can start losing nutrition. Kind of interesting. So... They do keep a long time. Now, you also may want to keep some corned beef on your shelf. Does this taste as good as real corned beef that you make with a cabbage on St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> Not even close. But it's good as an alternative for sandwiches. Fry it up, make some hash. It's a great little thing to keep on hand. Um, this was, I think, $5.38, and it expires May of 2023, so about four years shelf life. And again, great shelf life. I would be remiss without mentioning Vienna sausages. This is 4.6 ounces, and it is the bourbon barbecue flavor, and they come in a lot of different flavors. This one has an expiration date of June of 2022, so three year shelf life, again, pretty good. And they only cost, I think this was 53 cents. So a nice little thing to add again, you can add them more than just to pork and beans, right? You can also uh, add them to soups, uh, stews, a lot of different dishes. So it's a nice thing to keep on hand. So you should keep on hand more than just your meat. Uh, we already talked about salmon. Um, I've had this for some time. I think it has uh, like over a four year shelf life. It's really a great shelf life and you can make so many things with it. But then how about keeping some shrimp? This has, I bought it today and it says December of 2022. So about two and a half years shelf life. And this is clams. It says May 21. I'm not sure when I bought it. So again, pretty long shelf life. And this is bumblebee lump crab meat. January of 23. I think I, this is the one I bought today. Uh, that would make it three and a half years shelf life. Again, very good. And this is great in recipes and dips. So I have numerous of these cans. I think they're a great thing to keep on hand just in case, in case you run out of something when you're making a recipe. But also if you went for a longer term period where you couldn't get out of your house to replenish your pantry, these things could all come in handy. Whether it be that you lost your job or there's a bad um, SHTF event happening, whatever, your pantry would be covered. Now. Something else that's interesting is shelf stable sausage. In this case, this is summer sausage. I bought it today. It does not say sell by date on it. It doesn't say anything. Just keep refrigerated when you open it. So how long does it last? I don't know. Uh, 
according to the website, most summer sausages only last about six weeks on your shelf. They'll keep longer in your refrigerator. I don't know, because this doesn't say, but it never lasts very long. We like summer sausage and cheese on Ritz crackers. And here's another example. This is salami, salami Tuscani. I think it's Danielle brand. Um, again, it is shelf stable. This one does have a date on it. It has a sell-by date of January 24th, 2020. So this is six months shelf stable. And that's pretty darn good. So this is something you could keep in your short-term pantry. Um, Again, it's nice not to take up refrigerator or freezer space. Like many of you, I also have freeze-dried meats in storage for my long-term pantry. But I thought today we'd concentrate on what we can easily buy in a can. Well, these are some of the things that I keep on hand. I'd love to know what you have. You know, some of you might know of specialty markets, be it Asian or Mexican and some great shelf stable meat. I would love to hear from you below. Maybe you actually make your own jerky that lasts a long time. Um, I don't know, whenever I make jerky, it doesn't even last a week because it gets eaten right away. But I'd love to know what you do to extend your pantry for meat and seafood. So please comment below. And as always, thank you so much for your support and I hope you keep stocking your pantry. Thumbs up if you like this video and you might want to hit that little bell down below if you want to receive notifications.